Hi, my name is Yasser Nori, and this is my screencast for the SSI Fellowship application. I'm originally from Iraq, and I moved to the UK when I was 16. I did a BEng degree at the University of Dundee in Electronic Engineering and Physics, and then I won a studentship to do a PhD at Lancaster University. The aim of my PhD was to miniaturize a typical quantum cryptography system from a suitcase size to a chip size. I spent a lot of my time designing the chip using an open source software called MEEP. And that's when I started to appreciate the importance of open source software. I participated in a two weeks autumn academy for high performance computing at the University of Cambridge. And this was useful for me in simulating my chip on the Arcadia supercomputer at Lancaster. Uh, my modeling work has led to a journal publication and a patent. I'm currently a research fellow in electronics and computer science department at Southampton Uni. I make a nano size materials to form what we call memristors. A memristor works as a synapse, and a synapse is basically the structure that transmits electrical signals between neurons. So if we connect many memristors on a chip in a network, we can create an artificial brain. I spend most of my time fabricating the memristors but I also spend some time modeling my master circuits. I have developed a MATLAB tool that simulates the electrical current through a memristor network. The tool simplifies the problem of modeling large networks into matrices to make it easier to solve. I parallel programmed the tool and used it on the IRDIS supercomputer at Southampton University. Because I'm very passionate about open source software, I published a paper on the archive about my tool and made the code open source on GitHub and, Ocean, and, and, and CodeOcean for the Memristor community to, be, to basically benefit from. I presented the tool at a conference this year and I will do another next year. So, why should you select me? Well, first, I have experienced organizing events. I was one of the organizers of a meeting hosted by my ADEPT group last June, which uh, gathered experts in our field to identify key issues in our research. The meeting was very informal, it involved a session for uh, brainstorming, and it was well received by people. I'm also an ambassador of Future Worlds in our school. Future Worlds is the on-campus business accelerator, and I help them organizing events like these 20 minutes founder events. Secondly, I, I also do outreach activities. I exhibited twice at the Royal Society Summer Science Exhibition in London, and recently did two events with the Electrochemical Circus. Uh, one was in the Science Museum in London, and also the Light Up uh, the Light Up Pool Festival in Pool. Well, thirdly, I like to think that I'm good at communicating my research. I won the Best Talk Prize at the IOP Science Communication Competition in Sheffield, and a Best Talk Prize at the University's Three Minutes Thesis Competition. You could actually see the video on YouTube here. I was also shortlisted to present my research to MPs at the House of Parliament. And I, I also invited the Member of Parliament for Southampton Test, Dr. Alan Whitehead, who you could see in this, in this picture. So, what's my plan for the fellowship? Well, the field of neuromorphic computing has been getting bigger and bigger. The ultimate goal is to develop the hardware that can reason and learn just like our brains. But much more work needs to be done at the design and simulation stages. It's during my research, it has always been hard to know if a problem has been solved at the software level or if a tool actually exists to solve it. Remember that th this field is a new field and the tools available are not actually universal, but more like small tools developed by individuals or, or small research groups. My first goal would be to create a new network of early career researchers and research software engineers who develop or use neural network simulators from across the UK. Once the network reaches a critical mass or when it has enough members to sustain its growth, I will gather the network in an informal sort of birds of a feather style workshop where we can have speakers introducing each other's uh, and introducing their tools. In the workshop, the researchers and I will plan a project for making a comprehensive list of neural network simulators. And this is my second objective that I want to achieve within the period of the fellowship. The network that I will create will have its own website and the website will host the list which itself will link to repositories where the tools are stored, like uh, GitHub or, or CodeOcean. The list will contain for each tool descriptions, uh, user guides, tutorials, examples, information about the authors uh, that I want to basically share in public. I plan to present myself to the network as an SSI fellow, introduce the institute and its objective to the community, and also introduce, uh, introduce it in the conferences that are, that are known in my field, which I normally go to annually. 
I intend to advocate for open access within the network to try to motivate the members to make their tools publicly available. I plan to have an informal brainstorming session as part of the workshop where we will plan the future of the network, such as where we'll be heading to in the future and activities that might be, might be of interest to people. I plan to invite uh, one or two external, more senior external uh, speakers that are known in the field to help fostering the community and advise um, the early career researchers. Although I fabricate devices most of the time, I've always enjoyed coding and simulations. Actually, I feel I, contrib I contributed more to science from doing software coding than doing experimental work. So this is a, a skill that I really want to continue on developing, and I believe the SSI fellowship will help me, will, will give me the opportunity to do this. Uh, joining a community of fellows who I share the same passion with and, and through attending the training events by the SSI um, will add a lot to my skill set. It will expand my network of experts in coding and allow me to develop my research further. And finally, I also see myself volunteering in activities organized by the team of the SSI, such as the team, uh, teams for outreach and teams for uh, training, and not just within the fellowship period, but also in the long run. Thank you for listening, and I hope to hear from you soon.